I have to go do some stuff in Williamsburg, so I have Solar 10 and Remy with me. And if you want to get your bird trained, a car is a good place to do it because it's a small enclosed area. You don't want to be in a big room. You don't want the bird to like get distance from you. You're training it to come to you. So this is this is one way that you can get the dog get the bird the dog habituated to you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like a car, like she's right there, or he, we don't know what solar is, but solar's two feet away. Now, solar was sleeping, sleeps on my bed. Um, solar, solar will come to my shoulder now. Solar's always been like that. This is a more than a hand raised pigeon. This is a pigeon that was incubated by me holding the egg and my uh, my pigeon Remy sat on the egg too so when she had to take a break I would step in and I would hold the egg so this this bird is used to me since it was hatched that's important if, if you want to get a bird get a young one for sure like the young the younger the bird the easier it's gonna it's gonna be so so just keep keep that in mind that a younger bird is going to be easier to deal with it's going to be easier for you to train if you can hand raise hand feed a baby it doesn't matter what species it is it doesn't matter if it's a raven it doesn't matter if it's a parrot a pigeon they're going to be more habituated and accustomed to you now seriously solar probably heard my voice when, when solar was in the egg solar by the way is awesome solar is right up there with Remy um, as far as like the mo one of the uh, most unusual probably a little bit more unusual than Remy well of course Remy came to me at about 10 days old Remy came to me with a air sac injury and she was she she's pretty sick and she hadn't eaten for at least a day and a half um, my vet my vet my friend she's a vet she called me she said she was in Mexico and said that a friend of hers contacted her and said that she found a baby pigeon can I help out and take it until she gets back and then she would take over but as soon as I started working with Remy I was like Remy's cool as shit she was very young and she bonded to me now Remy is confused and I will say this that if you hand raise a baby like that like Remy one you can't just let him go they're gonna be helpless they're not gonna live be able to live out in the wild and also another thing is a lot of times they're not gonna breed because they're gonna be so bonded to you that it can cause a problem so getting um, if you get a raven or a crow or you know many times you're not going to be able to get, um, get the birds to breed. They're not going to be a breeding pair. They're never going to bond that way because they already bonded to a human. It screws that up. But what you get is a, you don't want babies anyway, do you? Babies are a pain in the ass. Trust, trust me. I'm a pigeon dad. I know. So you, you really, you, uh, you're not going to get babies, but do you really do you really want to breed your raven or your uh, or your parrot or your pigeon? It, it's just uh, it's a lot of extra work. It's a lot of extra work. It's it's not easy being a dad. I know exactly what it's like to be a parent now because I have a I have a pigeon and I've said this before and I really mean it. I did more than most men do when they have babies. I held the fucking egg. Your wife does all the work and you know it. You know it's true. So anyway, back to what we were talking about was uh, training the bird. I don't really do food training with any animals. I just communicate with them. 
Like if, if Remy would be doing something that was obnoxious, I would tell her to knock it, knock it fucking off. And I would use a tone like that and a pressure wave going at her. Knock it fucking off. When she's being good, I talk to her. And that's one thing that's different about birds than dogs. Birds can figure out language. Um, pi pigeons can't speak it. But parrots definitely can. A gray parrot can definitely speak a language, use a word in its proper form. It's basic, you know, it's real basic, but they can do it. So, but all, you know, all birds, what I'm saying is all birds, they can understand human language, but you have to talk to them, you repeat words, they start associating the words that you're repeating with the meaning. You know what what you're talking about they figure it out birds are smarter than dogs birds are smarter than cats they are I know that that's you know weird for most of you all to hear because you see the bird and it looks so much different than a human you know people are like how can that animal be smarter than a dog or a, you know it's 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 not a mammal but they are warm-blooded they're, they're warm-blooded and they're smart and they've been a very successful, you know, they're very successful. They've been, you know, it's, think of a bird as a dinosaur with wings. They've been on this planet a very long time. Very, very long time. You guys, anyway, try in the car, try in a smaller room, like maybe keep your bird, if it's a pigeon in the bathroom, um, if it's a parrot, you don't want to really let it loose until you get a good handle on what's going on because a, 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 pit, a, a parrot will just eat wood, you know, and that's going to be toxic. It'll chew things up. Where pigeons, you don't really have to worry about that. They have a beak, but it's not, you know, used in the same manner. Um, raven, you definitely want to use a smaller room. But more important is that you you want with the with the young birds maybe not a pigeon. If you get a good handle on the pigeon early on, they can be out. Um, but like a raven, you're gonna want to crate that raven, cage it, and have it coming in and out of the cage for a year and a half, sort of like a dog, two years, something like that. You leave that raven out. That's another instance where that's gonna you're gonna have destruction and the, the bird could get hurt. So do you see what I'm saying? Like Sam is at the point now, Sam is probably I don't know, eight or nine, maybe ten, ten, something like that. But he's at a point where I can leave him out like a cat. Within reason. I wouldn't let him out in an area where I had a laptop open, okay, because he will rip the keys off. I wouldn't leave the, like a medicine cabinet open with the raven around. They could get into the medicine. You have to use common sense. But I'm going to Williamsburg right now. Sam is not up. I just have my place raven proofed. So you know, take into consideration the species you're dealing with. And let me say something about ravens, first of all. They are very smart, that's true, but all birds are smart. This notion that they're the smartest bird on the planet, I don't necessarily know that that's true, okay? Because you're splitting hairs. All birds are smart, it's ridiculous. And another thing, I hear it all the time, Oh, ravens, they like shiny objects. Um, they like anything. It doesn't have to be a shiny object. That's such a ridiculous thing to say. Oh, ravens, oh, they, they like shiny objects. Yeah, but they also like non-shiny objects, too. They just like stuff, okay? So there's a lot of stuff out there in our society that is true and not true. So it is true that they might like a shiny object, but they also might like a, an object that isn't shiny, you know. I could be using a rusty screwdriver, and because I'm using it, Sam is probably going to want it. And it has to do, you know, as far as like the domestic, 
like a domestic raven or crow, it really has to do with like the owner and what the owner likes. Um, Sam has stolen my driver's license before and he picked up on that like, I don't want you stealing my shit out of my wallet, Sam, so then he wants to steal shit out of my wallet. That's, that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a real bratty bird. A raven would have no problem, absolutely zero problem, with destroying your driver's license. Hiding it from you, that's a big one. Ravens and crows will hide things. You know, uh, an e-collar for a dog. I found it three years later. This is true. Sam took it. I didn't know where it was. I looked for it for days and then I just replaced it. Look at Solarton. Solarton likes my head, likes to sit on my head. It's fine. You know, I don't care. Um, back to pigeons real quick. Solar... If I, if I was walking around outside with solar at this point, solar's less than six months old, solar would pop off my head or my shoulder. Remy would not. Remy I can walk around with. She doesn't, she doesn't uh, come off my shoulder or anything like that. Remy's a, a five-year-old bird. So uh, take it slow. You might want to use a leash with your bird. I have a video on that. And how you do that is making chesses for your pigeon or the chesses for your raven. A parrot, I don't think chesses would work because they would just bite right through them. Not a problem. They go right through them. Um, if you have a raven, you don't want to put chesses on it later in life. You would have to put a like a cone on the bird so that it didn't fuck with its leg. It could screw up its leg. It might not like that. The proper time to put Jesses on a raven or a crow is when they're very young, just weeks old. Put them on in about three or four weeks and you won't have any problems. Pigeons, we don't really put Jesses on. I, I, well, I don't, um, but most people don't shoulder train pigeons. What I do is I make like a sort of slip lead using uh, leather shoelaces and then those go around the uh, ankle of the pigeon. So, you know, if, if the pigeon comes off my shoulder, I did it with Remy years ago. Uh, if the pigeon comes off my shoulder, I can gain control real quick and get the pigeon back up. You want them on both feet, not one foot. You want them on both feet. And that is true of a raven or a crow too. So, um, what else? Just if you have a young pigeon and you want to get it trained, you're going to have to do it in a small, small room. A bathroom's a great place. You keep your pigeon in, in the bathroom. Just go in there and hang out. Put a TV in there. Hang out with the bird. Um, take the bird for a ride in the car like I do. And, um, you know, it takes some time. Don't think that it's going to happen overnight. But if, if, you get the, if you get the pigeon real young and you're hand feeding it, the bird will bond to you. It'll make it a lot easier. That's for sure. The bird, this bird's bonded to me totally. This bird's a nut, by the way. It's got a, it's got a pigeon dad. Uh, it's got a human dad and a pigeon mom. So of course it's not normal. It isn't. He's he or she. We don't know what solar is at this point. I think it's a male. I, I think solar is a male at this. You know, I'm thinking male. Um, I thought solar was a female because solar's small, but I'm thinking it's a male. Um, he, not it. Um, but uh, he's, a, he's a nut. He, he's an absolute nut. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> solar tin. Solar's, solar, by the way, solar was named solar. Uh, this is boring to most of you all that follow these pigeon, these solar videos and pigeon training videos, but solar was um, hatched the day of the solar eclipse and was hatching, this is no shit, it was weird, right when the solar eclipse was over the eastern part of the United States. So that's where solar got his or her name from, him, him, 
but his name on his birth certificate is Solar Solarton Kane. He he may be the second coming too. Wait, we're not sure, but you know what I'm saying? Could be. It's pretty amazing. Little solar. Freaking solar. It's on top of my head and then comes down off my head like claw in my face. You know? It's alright, I love solar. Solar's awesome. And Remy. My pigeon wife. I couldn't have had so solar. I wouldn't have solar as a kid if it wasn't for Remy. Right, Remy? See, she says yes. She 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 hatched the egg most of the time. She she sat on it. I only held it a little bit. Solar, you scratched me all up, mister. I feel my neck is scratched, my face is scratched. I don't care, it's Solarton. Solarton!